Hey guys, this is just a quick video to show you how to embed your Bitmoji classroom into our It's Learning courses. And I'm actually going to set mine as my home page. So I've already created my Bitmoji classroom, and this is the one that I want to go into my AQR class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to where it says File, and I'm going to go down to Publish to the Web. You click that and over here it's going to have an embed code. If you see this little tab right here, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to mark it as publish. Do I want to publish this selection? Okay. And this gives me my embed code. So I'm going to control C to copy it. or you can also right click if you so prefer. And then I'm gonna go over to my It's Learning courses. So here I am, I'm gonna drop down to my AQR course. Okay, right there. And I actually put mine under resources. So I went to resources and I added a page. So this is similar to when we created them in the spring. We had a new page with all the rich text box and everything. I'm going to add a content block. And I want it to be rich content, just like we did last term. And this one, of course, is going to be my AQR for 2020-2021. Now, when you go to paste it, this is where it's a little different. You need to go over here to the source button. I'm going to click on the source button. I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to paste that text that I copied. So here it is. And then I'm going to hit OK. And there it is embedded into there. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to rename this the same thing AQR 2020 2021. And there is my class page. All of these are live links. So kids will be able to click on all these. They are all linked. It's going to take them to the necessary things for my class. This is the remind one. So all that's already been done in Google Slides. Now, if you want this to be your landing page, you want this to be the first thing they see when they go to it, that's a little bit different of a setting. For that, you're going to go to the More button. And this was taught to us last year. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to course properties and features. So it's the same as it was last spring. And my start page. I want my start page to be the one I just created. And save. So now when my kids load my course, I'm going to refresh again. I'm going to go down back to empower to educate. Then I'm going to go back to mine to see exactly what happens when my kids land on this page. And that's the first thing that comes up. If they want to go click into their Skyward, they just click on that. They go back to their page. They want to click on my class calendar, my notebook, so it's all in there for them. The other thing I did notice that I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know is that I tried this out on several different smartphones because I do like to think about if my kids are out and about, if they need to use their phone, if they're at home, that's all things that we have to consider. And this size does not allow them to access the links and stuff on this side of the page. So I actually need this to be a little bit shorter so that the kids can view it on the different phone sizes and it'll still show up. So what I did for that is I went back to edit I went back to the source. Now, there's a lot of different numbers on here, okay? But I played around with it and I realized if you go right down here to the width box, the width box, and you change this to a 600, this is going to make that box smaller and more visible on our kids' computers. So that is something that they'll be able to see. Now, we have these weird black spots up here. So you can actually play with the aspect ratio to size that down. 
So now if I want this to fill the space, I need to go play with the aspect ratio a little more, which I did. So when I go back in here, I'm going to go back to my source code and I want the height to be the same ratio. So it's going to be around 356, 355. I'm going to hit OK. And as you notice, that's going to change the whole side. So this will appear almost to kind of fill the different smartphone um, screens. So the kids can easily access all the stuff on the right of our Bitmoji classrooms. So there you go. Any questions, please feel free to ask. If there's anything I could do differently, please let me know. Thanks.